Hi there, I'm Black Bright broadcasting out of the UK and this is the playful side of Black Bright. As you can see, I discuss some really sticky issues, but I always like to have a little break. Just so you can see, I'm not all doom and gloom. And yeah, some people are saying, oh, what are you write talking about that rubbish for? If what might be rubbish for one person is diamonds for another. That's all I've got to say. So don't tell me what I can talk about because I like watching Love Light Island and I like to talk about it. So when you see Love Island and you don't like Love Island, don't watch it. Okay. Anyway, tonight is Friday night and we see Mike vying for Jess in the most ridiculous manner. I mean, talk about immature. And Jess, I mean, she, you know, she, I don't, when I'm lost for words, I'm lost for words. On the one hand, she's telling Luke M that, oh, you know, hit that, that ship has sailed. She's not really interested. And then in the next minute, she's saying, oh, well, I really like him. We get on really well. And, um, yeah, he's a really good friend. But the thing is, I can understand him being a good friend. But do you have to jump up and go every time he calls? Why don't you just say you prefer him then? Because her behaviour is more like she prefers Mike than Luke. And that is all Luke is asking. He doesn't want to be mugged off. He doesn't want it to be seen because the way it's looking is that it's looking as though Mike is pushing her, forcing himself on her. And that is not the case. And we don't want it to look like that. So she needs to be honest. I mean, towards the end, she was actually honest. And when she was talking about she didn't want him to leave the villa, she didn't want him to be chosen. So she's more or less said it now. But Luke M is like, is he deaf or what? Doesn't he get it? I mean, by her saying, look, I don't want him to go. I like spending time with him. He's a really great friend. That would, that would, that would be a red flag for me if I was Luke M. So I think he might as well kiss her goodbye. Because, and you know what will Oh, you know what will make him mad? The fact that Mike warned him that he's going to get her. I don't know. I don't know. Men and their toys. So what else? I think he was, um, I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit. Uh, you know, when Mike was talking to Luke M and he was saying, look, you know, do you think it was right of you? to come over there, take her away in the middle of our conversation. Is he ballsy or what? I mean, on the one hand, I kind of get it. On the one hand, nobody owns anyone. They've only known each other for a little while. But isn't there protocol? Isn't there a certain code of ethics? Or... Are there no boundaries, no ethical boundaries then? Because can you imagine if Luke M had come over to him when he was dating Leanne before they knew, it, before they broke up? Can you imagine Luke M going up to Leanne while Mike is talking to her and say, look, I want to talk to you a minute. Put his arm around her, put, you know, put his whatever have her underneath the sheets. How would he take that? He wouldn't take it very well. So I don't understand. Just because he's got nobody, it doesn't mean you have to disrespect everybody. And that's what he's doing. I really think that him and Sophie should be the one to leave. I don't know how Luke and Jess got into that final, you know, as a couple to leave. I don't understand how those two were nominated. It should be Rebecca and Wallace and Mike and Sophie. It's simple. 
But then you've got all these loyalties because they're couples as opposed to individuals. I think it should have been individuals, not couples, because if it was individuals, it would be Rebecca and Mike that would be leaving or should be leaving as far as I'm concerned. So what else is there? I don't think that um, Callum um, is, 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 you know, is wearing the skirt in the relationship. Callum is a strong person. He speaks up to Shauna. So they don't even know what goes on. So I don't know what they're talking about. Just that's a thing with these men in these groups. And when they go out with their friends, they see a woman be a bit assertive or say something to a man and he listens. They're talking about who's wearing the trousers. It's absolutely ridiculous. And that's that kind of mentality that it's almost telling men you shouldn't listen to what your woman says because indirectly that's what they're saying. And then they wonder why they're single after a couple of dates. They really need to grow up a little bit. What else did I say? Oh, do you notice the way they keep picking up Naz and throwing him about? I was just wondering, do you think that's because he's the small, shortest bloke in the house? I, I remember we used to do bumps at, at, <laughs> bumps at um, school. Anytime it was somebody's birthday, you know, one person would catch you by the one hand, another person would get you by the other hand, another person would get you by one leg, and the other person would get you by the other leg, and they'd go like that, up and down. The the number of your, your birthdays used to be quite scary. They never dropped you, but that's what it reminded me of. Um, what else? Rebecca. What an ungrateful cow. And she's not a nice, I told you she weren't nice. She's got a very, very, um, I don't want to say a nasty streak, but she's got a very, very harsh streak to her. There's no tenderness in her. She's very hard. And, okay, um, Wallace made her breakfast and she doesn't eat avocado and he should do, she's talking about he should do his homework. He should get it right. That's the least he can do, get it right. But a bloody cheek. I mean, those men are making breakfast for the women. And OK, so you don't eat avocado and, and, and uh, on toast. All you've got to do is say, oh, thanks. That was really nice. But I'm nervous so sorry. I don't eat avocado. I should have I should have told you in all those discussions you've been having. That's what you should be talking about, what you like for breakfast and what you don't, since that's the only thing that seems to be go on, going on in there. And what you like for di for dinner or what you don't, that your likes and your dislikes. But I just thought that was really rude. And then she had the audacity to talk to the girls about, oh, at least you ought to get that right. Who the hell does she think she is? She's still bitter because she didn't get Luke T. It must bun her when he sees her with Shanice. And somebody had the nerve to nominate Shanice and Luke T. How dare they? Anyway, they are not going anywhere. I voted for them anyway. My little one vote, and I'm sure other people did too. Um, let me see what else is there. Well, I did put down, you know, because I write down my notes as I'm kind of watching it. And I was saying I did think that Jess should actually stop mucking around with Mike but it looks like she actually she's actually enjoying it then I thought he was kind of coming on a bit too strong you know following her around the villa and that kind of stuff but she is encouraging it and so um and he's got a little ball so she, if she's encouraging it and she don't mind I just think she needs to tell Luke M look you know I really, I prefer, I prefer the chemistry I have with my, with uh, Mike. Simples. And we've got some more men coming in. Is it more men or more women? Is it more men? I can't remember now. I think it's six more men coming in. No, it might be six more women. Anyway, 
We'll soon see what happens then. I hope they're I hope they're bloody gorgeous. <laughs> I love it when they bring these new people in because it just shows you how shallow they are. They make out like they're all in love with who they've got. They love them as long as there's no other options. When there's other options, they don't give a toss. I guess that's the real world, isn't it? You think you like someone until you've got more options or the other options you've got look better and then you're off. Well, that's what happens in the house. You know, when those six girls come in, I don't know if they're going, they're not going to Casa Amor this, um, this week. I think they're going to Casa Amor next week. But that's all it takes. Somebody to say the right thing in your ear. So, you know, for the, for the women, somebody says the right thing things to you and these men of these men that go into the villa they've studied the woman they know what they like so it's easy for them and as for the women that's for the men they're so bloody superficial all they want to do is see big boobs and you know a big butt and some voluptuous lips and that's it they're gone i mean all their heads turn for rebecca and as much as she's beautiful she doesn't have a good spirit well in my humble opinion. I'm not saying she's horrible, I'm just saying she's a bit harsh. She doesn't seem to have that compassion. I think, she, 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 I don't know, she just seems hard. Okay, what else have we got here? I like the way Luke M, um, when they were talking about who should leave, I like the way, Luke M is very strong and he's quite assertive. I mean, he managed to turn Jess around to choose Mike even though she's going, oh, I hope he doesn't go, I hope he doesn't go, I just pray he doesn't go. If I was Luke Kim, I'd be like, get on your bike, girl. You know, if that's the way you're going on, go with him. I don't even know why he's entertaining it, but I guess he wants to be in a couple. We don't know why people entertain these things. We, but, you know, he's got a good excuse now. When these six girls come into the house, he's got a good excuse if a nice one comes in to say, oh, well, Jess, I could see that you, you told me you had um, feelings for Mike. So therefore I can crack on with someone else. They don't need much of an excuse to move on. Ah, uh, what else is there? Yeah. Oh, I did put down here, Mike and Sophie, Rebecca and Wallace, what's there to deliberate? That should, they should have all had that buff, buff, buff. But that bloody Callum and his bloody loyalties, he doesn't want Sophie to go. And he doesn't see nothing wrong with Mike. Oh, but if it was up to Shauna, <laughs> those two would be gone. I'm telling you. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I've said it all. There wasn't much really to say. I'm glad Naz is getting on with... Um, Demi, um, yeah, Paige and Finley, they're sorted very good in their games. And yeah, I'm not going to just keep extending it just for the hell of it. So that's all for now. Bye-bye. And have a good weekend. There's no Love Island tomorrow.